you guys are actually laughing at this. <laughs> Here we go. Both gums look at them. Roll. We can do double flat spins for your viewing pleasure up around the side. Reverse the trigger positions back around and roll them home. There you go. Get in the holster. There you go. All right. One time here. Make sure we get the holsters down in the proper placement. All right. Now, it took a while to get the left hand to follow the right hand because I am right handed to start off with. But after a while, you do get the whole mirror image thing going. Then you start getting a little bit trickier. You can take a gun, watch close to gun on the right hand. We can stop that gun roll the opposite direction. And go nice and fast with that. We can go up high out front. We can even throw in some fancy footwork at the same time. I know that's what you've been waiting all day to see. You see me at a wedding. Yeah. With a drink or two. <laughs> All right, now they say, folks, that uh, Jimi Hendrix would wear his guitar everywhere he went. He'd be in that apartment, be making a sandwich, and there's that guitar strapped on him. Kind of became an extension of himself. Kind of the same with me. I do this so often. Sometimes I'll be booked at an event where they just say, go out there and roam for six to eight hours. And all you do is play with the gun. So it kind of becomes a second nature for some of what I do, which is actually can hurt you when I'm out uh, either on set or shooting and I've got a blank or live ammo in there. I'll actually turn the guns backwards because I'm so used to talking with people going, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. And uh, that's not good when you've got a gun that's hot. So this is kind of my way of going, oh, don't, don't play with that. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you can get to a point in your gun spinning career if that's what you choose to do with your entire life. Where you get a gun rolling, like, let's say this on my left hand, and then you don't even have to think about it anymore. The backward spin uh, is about as basic as it gets. And then when I'm working with actors, they work on to the forward spin. And then we go back and forth using these three fingers, kind of a springboard. Uh, with the barrel keeping this finger curved, this one back and forth. The best time I have found to practice your finger manipulations is every time you go to shake someone's hands. Ooh, they love it right there. <laughs> Raise an eyebrow, say you're a gunslinger, whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you get to a point like I'm working with actors now and they'll, they're concentrating so hard on keeping that gun rolled back without falling off that their other hand starts doing this uh, like a wicked witch or something. So we'll have them hang on to their belt or something to look casual, and uh, anyway, with me, I, it kind of becomes a computer program to, in a sense that I just kind of push play, the left hand does what it wants to do, that way I can concentrate on the right hand and do some stuff that requires concentration, and that gun on the left just kind of takes care of itself, all right. Yeah. After a while, you can really start to separate the left hand from the right. A lot, uh, a lot of people say, man, that's two different tricks with two different hands. But to me, that's just a basic twirl and a uh, trick. Two different tricks would look a little more like so. We'll do a flat spin on the right hand, whatever that is on the left. Both sides of the brain working in unison and harmony. All right. Now, this next trick is very good but very quick, so we're going to do it on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, and three. Ooh. I like it when we catch that one. I only do one. <laughs> All right, well, let's finish up now with some of the final stuff.